Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a one hour transformation video on a night out. So I'm going to be doing a really pretty warm coppery eye and like flawless skin. And I'm also going to be showing you guys how I style my hair with extensions and also going to be showing you guys my outfit. So if you would like to see, then just stay tuned. So I'm going to apply the Ordinary Foundation in the shade 1.2 neutral and also my Laura Mercier Tinta Moisturizer in the shade 501 Caramel. And I'm just going to blend it in using a It Cosmetics foundation brush. Now I'm going to jump into the Chella Taupe Eyebrow Cream. I got this in one of my boxy charms. I actually really, really enjoy this product. And I very, very lightly fill them in. Okay, and then when I'm done with that, I'm taking the Dior Skin Concealer in the shade 001. I'm just applying this under my eyes, and I'm just bringing it down like that. I really love this concealer. It's very, very smooth and creamy. Taking my Sephora Beauty Blender. This Beauty Blender is actually really nice. It's a little bit um, bigger than the regular Beauty Blender, so I only pretty much like it for myself on clients. I feel like it would be kind of uncomfortable by the eyes. Um, but I think, like, Texture-wise, it's pretty soft and it's pretty similar to the Beauty Blender. Then I just lightly go over the rest of my foundation. Just to make sure everything's blended, have no spots, no brush strokes. So after that, I'm going to be taking the Makeup Revolution Concealer in the shade C2. And I'm just going to apply this where my dark circles are, so right about here. I feel like it's nice, but at the same time, I feel like it's not full coverage. I feel like it's more of a medium coverage. I'm also taking a little bit of that concealer and just carving out my brows. Sorry if you guys hear the rain in the background. It is pouring right now. I'm going to take my beauty blender and blend this out. Also drag some of the concealer on my eyelid. So now that that concealer is on, I'm just going to blend out the creases. And I actually set my under eyes with the Naked Basics palette. It's an eyeshadow palette and I take this yellow shade and that pinky shade and I kind of just lightly set under my eyes with this. I feel like it brightens up my under eyes and it's not super heavy or drying. I'm going to be using the Violet Boss Laura Lee palette as well as this Juvia's palette. They're both absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to take the Violet Boss palette and these are the tones I'm going for today. Just really like pretty coppery rusty colors. I'm going to be taking the shade Chris Pot. I'm just going to apply that all over my crease area just to get a really nice transition color. I'm going to go into Mama Bird. I'm going to take this in my crease also. Get Ragamuffin, and I'm just going to apply this on the outer corner of my crease. So now, now I'm going to take the shade Yeah by the Juvia's palette. It's a really beautiful, um, rusty brown copper color and, and I'm just going to apply that onto my lid. This color is so pretty. I'm going to go back in with that first brush and just blend. I'm going in with this Primark Eye Pigment in the shade Copper Days. It's beautiful. It's such a pretty um, copper. This is actually Ben Nye Final Seal in this Cover FX bottle, but I'm just going to wet my brush and I'm going to apply the pigment right on top. 
Oh my god, that is so pretty. This just gives like such a beautiful dimension to the look. Oh my god. Also gonna go in again with Ragamuffin, which is the darker orange shade. And then I go with my Beauty Blender and this will just kind of pick up anything, any fallout. I'm gonna take a little bit of this shade, it's just called Alabama, and a little bit of whiskers. Just on the outer corner though, I'm not going all the way in. I want a little bit of definition, but I really love how like open this all is. So now I'm gonna apply the CoverGirl liquid liner. This is the best liquid liner I've ever tried in my life. This is in the shade uh, 320. It's the matte black one. It is bomb. And then I'm also going to pop on some Tati lashes in the style TL3. So now I'm taking a MAC lip liner. This is an NC25. I'm not sure if they make this anymore, but it's just a really light nude color, and I'm going to apply this in my waterline. Okay, now I'm going to go back into Ragamuffin with a small brush. I'm going to bring this right below my waterline. I'm going to bring it down pretty low. And I'm actually going to go back I'm actually going to go back into Alabama and I'm going to deepen up the outer corners of my eye a little bit. I just feel like it's still a little bit too light. Like I want it to be light and airy looking and like really like soft, but I still need some definition on the outer corners. And I'm going to take that color Yeah, which was what I put all over the lid, which is that sparkly copper color, and I'm going to apply this right under my lash line. I'm going to go back into Pris Pot, which was that lighter neutral orange shade, and I'm just bringing that right below all those shades just to blend it. I'm going to take my mascara and go over my lower lashes. So I'm actually going to take that shade, yeah, and put it in my waterline on top of that nude. And that's the difference. This is with the nude liner. This is with that eyeshadow on top. I'm going to go back in with mascara in case any eyeshadow fell on top. The shade, this is so basic. This is a neutral shade, and I'm just going to apply this right below my brow. Now I'm just going to set my brows the e.l.f. brow gel and I just set my brows. Okay, so for the rest of the face, I'm going to take the Balm Bronzer in Bahama Mama and I'm just going to start bronzing on my cheekbones. I really don't contour anymore. I just like doing a really soft bronzer. I'm going over my nose, going up on my forehead. After that, I'm gonna go into blush, and I'm actually gonna take the shade Mama Bird right here, which is like an orangey shade, and I'm gonna apply this as a blush and hope that it doesn't look stupid. I just really wanna keep with the warm tones. Excuse this breakout over here. Okay, for highlight, I'm going in with Idol from Tarte. I like taking a bigger brush for this and just applying this on cheeks. On the tip of my nose. Then I'm also going to go back in with the Naked Basics palette and take those two shades right under my eyes. And I'm just going to go back over it and dust off any fallout I may have and just brighten up under my eyes even more. Then I'm going to apply a little bit more highlight just because. Um, so I'm going to go in with this shade. This is Zuri. From the Juvia's palette and I'm just going to take a little bit of this. Also if you feel like your bronzer went a little too out of control over here you can just take your foundation brush again and just kind of tap over anywhere that you want it a little bit more diffused but I'm 
like it how this looks. For lips, I'm taking the Laneige Lip Mask. This is pretty much all I wear on my lips. I'm not even putting on a color. This is the Bomb My Bills Be Paid lipstick. It just looks like this. It's like a matte neutral uh, shade. And I believe that is it for the makeup. Okay, so now on to the hair. My hair is probably like a week old. I have not really washed it. My hair doesn't really get super oily, so... Um, yeah, it's also blonde now, so I don't have to wash it as often at all because it's a little bit more dry. So dry shampoo is my lifesaver. Just keeps my hair smelling fresh and looking fresh. So this is the Moroccan oil one. So I'm just gonna brush out my hair. And I'm gonna apply a little bit of this agave oil treatment. This stuff is bomb. I'm just applying this to my ends. Kind of in my crown area right back here, I get really dry. Like that. Now I'm going to be taking my Irresistible Me hair extensions. I have a 20% off coupon code down below in the description box. Their extensions are bomb. Um, my, I actually need to get some new ones because these are probably about two years old. I have to get them trimmed. I may just order a whole new set because they are amazing. So this is one of the wefts of hair. This is the four weft. It's super, super thick. It's awesome. I love it. I'm gonna pop that in the back of my head. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm just curling my extensions with my hair. Like I said, they don't look great right now only because they really need to be trimmed and blended with my hair, especially because I just cut off like four inches of my hair, so they don't blend as well as they used to. So I'm just gonna curl this and I will be back with you guys. Okay guys, so this is the hair. I just have to fluff it out a little bit just to make it all blend. Like I said, my hair just got cut, so it doesn't blend as easily as it used to, so I definitely need to get the extensions cut into my hair. So running my fingers through, kind of separating the curls and all that stuff, even you know, teasing the ends a little bit. That is the hair. Okay guys, so now that the hair is done, let's go and pick out our outfit. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next one. Have a good one.